Good morning, everyone. Chatting Miss Jones. I want to welcome my new subs. You guys are so kind. Um, again, I want you guys to check out um, New Pair of Glasses, her channel. I'll leave a link in the description box. She is so on my level. It is unreal that only through YouTube do I find an outlet through all of you guys who are watching this now. I'm sorry about the plane. There's nothing I can do about that. Loud as hell, but you can't see him. Anywho, much respect. Um, I don't even know if Peregrine Glasses is a sub. However, I love her channel, you guys. If you like me, then you'll love her. Um, here's your easterly morning skies. If you look over here, it looks dramatic. I don't know what the hell the sun is doing or how many are there, but if you look here, everything's nice and blue and with the fake clouds. Those are not your clouds, people. So, nice and blue. And then you come over here, what is up with all the darkness around our sun lately? I've seen more dark clouds. In the past two days than I have ever seen around our sun. The sun. The white sun. <laughs> I also want to uh, discuss with you guys throughout the day. Halloween. Um, it's a pagan holiday such as Easter. Ishtar. The celebration of the birth of that being you know I, can I just suggest something stop it stop letting your children go out and celebrate this horrific evil day yes it's just a day marked on the calendar however it's not cool who says it's cool for your kid to get dressed up as an evil ulterior uh, intellectual being, <laughs> if you will. You know, I didn't do Halloween too tough. And if I did, I was, you know, did it because my sister did. And I don't even remember what I was ever. I think I was an Indian at one time. But that's it. That, that was it for me. I stayed home. You know, because all that free candy, I mean, hell, we had the candy at home, so why bother? Think twice before you let this happen, because what is happening spiritually, When I, um, if you notice my last videos, I've talked about the grid. And on this holiday, not only bless the people in California, and bless anyone around the world, or a plane, fat plane that is, that are going through any kind of catastrophic, not your fault deal. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm so sorry about that. However, there's fear around this world. In it, the whole play, all four corners are in fear. And guess who's surviving off of that? <laughs> the Luciferians. You know, all four corners. I mean, you got fires. You have tidal waves, you have hurricanes, you have volcanoes, you know, and we have asteroids, I don't know what day that there was, yesterday or today, I mean, I did my research, but I kept coming up with nothing, and look, the sun is so pronounced right now, it looks like the moon, let me get a little closer for you guys, Can you see that? It looks like the moon. Our sun looks like the moon. And it's not yellow, people. <sighs> Come on, guys. Okay, back to what I was saying is this is a, a pagan holiday. It, no matter what or who holiday it is, it's not right to have your children dress up as a scary being to go to someone's door and get candy from a stranger. 
Do you understand what, what I'm trying to get to you here? This is not... First of all, I did a video, I think a year ago, on my belief on how we lie to our children. We just lie to them about everything. You know, come Christmas, when I didn't get what I thought I deserved, I felt like I was a bad girl, and I wasn't. My mom just couldn't afford it, you know? And I'm probably going to get something evil right about now because I can feel my ears clogging up, and yeah, not so much of a headache. But there's some, you guys, this is just not right, okay? Don't let your kids go out for Halloween. Hell, take them out. I don't know where you're listening to me from, but go to Ryan's uh, Steakhouse or whatever. Take the kids out to eat. Celebrate it in such a positive way that they won't be missing out on candy. Take them to all-they-can-eat restaurants so they can get all the candy they want. You're not celebrating that day if they're not dressed up knocking at a stranger's door. I mean, are we really celebrating that? But yet we teach our kids not to talk to strangers. You know, we're such fucking hypocrites when it comes to parenting because only because this is the way we were raised. This is the way society, you know, you're cool if you did this. And it's just like name brand of clothes. Who gives a shit? Are your genitals covered? <laughs> you know? Stop. Just stop with the holidays. Bullshit. That's the way I feel this morning. Our clouds are, are filling up, and so is my nasal area. So I'm going to go in and call this a moment. <laughs> Love and light to each and every. That's a pretty picture. Love and light to each and every one of you. Pay attention to these holidays that were written for us to obey. Our, our kids are so programmed. Uh, they're going to get upset if they don't go out for Halloween. This is nonsense. Who's the parent here? Okay. I'm I'm so guilty of it. I didn't know any better then, but I know better now. So love and light to each and every one of you. Think about these holidays. Take care of each other. Love your enemy from a distance. Okay? Love and light. Don't keep them closer. Pray for them. Have a great one.